Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today in this session. So today we are going to begin this project on see debugging. So firstly, we need to understand what debugging is. In fact, before that, we need to know what a bug is. So simply, when you're talking about bugs in programming, it's simply a code or anything that is stopping your program from running the way it's supposed to run. Okay, so anything that is stopping your program to work effectively, then that is called a bug. So the bugging is simply how to find that problem and how you can fix that problem. That's simply what the bugging is in simple terms. That's also what the bugging is. Finding the problem and then fixing the problem, that's the bugging. So as a programmer or as a software engineer, you definitely need to know how to debug. There are a lot of software which you can use to debug your program but for now, we are not going to go into that software part. We are going to be dealing with, um, we are going to be debugging manually. That means we are going to be using, um, we are going to be using different methods like using printf and any other method possible to debug our code. Okay, so let's scroll down here. Just read the material here. So when you look at this, this rubber doc here. So if you can remember the Fenman learning technique, it's, it says if you learn something new, try to explain it to someone, right, in a simple term, a small person, right, like just a small child, four to five years old, right, so explain, try to explain what you learned to that person in simple term, without using any complicated words, right, so that that person will be able to grab something, even though the child will not be understand what you're trying to say, but at least the child will, uh, will kind of understood that you're trying to make some sense right at least the words you're saying that person sorry the child will be able to understand it so that's what Feynman learning technique says right so if you can do that and explain it to uh, to a child then it means you understood what you learned right so all of, so also one of the ways of debugging is they said you can adopt this method of robot doc not just robot doc it can be anything anything in animate right so you can just place it on your table on your study table just that um, what you need to do is just explain to that object what your code is supposed to do right explain to the to the to the object how you want your program to run so as you're trying to explain to the object then along the way you might be able to figure out why your program is not running effectively okay so this is just um, kind of um, one of the ways of debugging manually okay so that's just what debugging is there are different ways of debugging you can use printf for debugging as well okay so now let's move on and let's see what we have for this task of on debugging all right so when you look at this i've already navigated into my alex low level repository and i've also created this directory zero by zero tree debugging and i'm sure you know how to do that there is no need for me to explain right so when you look at this question here it says in most projects Right, in most projects, we often give you only one main file to test with. Yes, we, they only give us one file to test with. For example, this main file is a test for positive or negative function similar to the one you worked with in an earlier C project. So, this is a C file, right? This is a C file that tests for positive or negative. Just look at it here. Just look at this here, positive or negative. So, it is calling the function, right? So, and this positive or negative function, what they are trying to say is that we've already wrote the function in an earlier C project. And this is the project, right? When you click on this link here, it's going to take you to this page here. So, this is the project in which we wrote a function that will test for positive or negative number, right? So, then the next thing it says it is what? Based on the main.c file above, create a file named 0 main.c this file must test that the function positive or negative gives the correct output when given a case of zero you are not coding the solution function you are just testing it however you can adapt your function from this same function that's the same question here this same solution here so you can adapt your function from this to compile with this main file to test locally you only need to upload your main.c and your main.h for this task we will provide our own positive or negative function so in this case it doesn't matter if you like don't write this function okay if you like don't write the function if you like write the function all what they're after is you need to create your word your zero main dot c and also what your main dot h so let's see what we're supposed to do before that let me create that uh, the main dot h file so let me just say vi main 
dot h so here i'm going to paste this so i need to hash okay let me zoom a bit oh if right so i have my min dot h this is the main dot h they gave us as you can see cut min dot h this is the file right so the next thing is instead of us to name our own min dot c we are going to name it zero min dot c right and then we are going to change something so let's see zero min dot c all right so i'm going to paste this here all right so here hash include so when you look at this when you scroll down here i don't know if this is going to happen in your own case as well but as you can see i'm having space in here instead of what instead of tabs so let me just remove the spaces and then use my tab to indent same as this one just remove the space tab for indent if not betty will not be happy so remove the spacing and then press tab remove the spacing and then press tab so since the question here says we are testing for zero case of zero right so all i need to do here when you look at this the function here is testing for what 98 not zero so all i need to do is i'm just going to change this instead of zero it's going to be sorry instead of 98 i will just make it zero so when you look at this it says you are not allowed to add or remove lines of code you may change only one line in this task and this is the line right this is the line we just changed we just changed i equals to 98 to what i equals to zero so you can leave it like this and then you can add commit and push your github repository it will work it's just that you'll not be able to review the answer here because you don't have the positive main.c file so let's create this file in our own case i'm just telling you that even if you leave it like this and push to your github it will still work the checker will check but it's just that you'll not be able to run the compiled file and see the output in this terminal but the checker will pass because that's what the question says so let's try creating this file so that we'll be able to see what we pushed right so this is the file positive or negative so in this case i don't need to um, include betty documentation so here stdio dot here since um it's not checking the checker is not checking this particular file right because they said here they will provide their own positive or negative function so there is no need for me to make it betty compliant let me zoom a bit yeah so here was the function prototype this is the function prototype so let me copy this copy and paste all right so let's go to the function that is responsible for testing for this positive or negative number that they said we should refer to right zero by zero one c variables task zero this is the task so what this does is it is what is is that the output of the program should be what the number followed by if the number is greater than zero is going to print is positive so i would just say if what the function parameter which is i in this case right so if i is greater than zero then what should happen we are going to print the number right so print f percentage d and then followed by what is positive right so we print the number and then is positive so here i'm going to add a new line and then comma i that is the variable so in this case it's going to print the number and then it's positive right so then what again else if the value of i is what the next case is what is equals to zero so equals to zero so what are we going to do i'm going to say printf percentage d right then i will say is zero right then what then I'll pass in the variable i again here. Then what again? We've considered greater than zero equals to zero. I can just say else, which will consider what? Less than zero. So here I'll just say printf, also percentage d, and then in this case, is what? Is negative, right? So is negative. And then what? And then I'll pass in the variable for what? The number. So this is how you are going to create the test file. Sorry, the function positive or negative. So, if you exit this, so let's try compiling. This is the compilation command. So, copy, paste. So, as you can see, it has been compiled, right? So, let's run the compiled file. So, did you see? We got what? Zero is zero. And that's what they ask us to do. Test for what? 
a given case of zero right and we've test for that so the reason why i wrote this last function is because i just want to display this for you but if you like there is no need for you to add that function betty sorry the checker will still check as far as your betty is fine just look at this they said only zero main.c and your main.h you need to push so from here you know that you don't need that function file that we just created i just created the file just to show you this okay so now don't forget to add commit and push to a github repository then you can run your checks so now let's move on to the next task so this task here says we should copy this main file comment out don't delete it take note of this comment out don't delete it the part of the code that is causing the output to go into an infinite loop don't add or remove any lines of code as we will be checking your line count you are only allowed to comment out existing code you don't have to compile with these flags here so let's copy the file first they said we should copy the file and we are to comment out the part of this program that is causing it to go into an infinite loop when is a loop set to be in an infinite loop when it keeps running without any condition that is going to stop it then that loop is what is an is 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 running into an infinite loop right so and that's not a good idea but, but there are cases that you will need an infinite loop maybe we talk about that as we advanced so here i'm going to paste this so here i guess yeah i don't know why i need to keep doing this tabbing all the time I need to be removing the spacing. If not, Betty will not be happy with me. So I need to remove this. I just hope there should be a shortcut for all this thing. <laughs> removing the spacing and tab all the time is kind of another time wasting something, right? So remove the spacing, tab, remove space, tab, sorry. So remove space, tab, then I'm come here, and then my hash, I. So when you look at this, we are just commenting out the part of the code that is causing it to go into an infinite loop. When you look at this, this is the loop. And when you look at this while loop, it is definitely going to into an infinite loop because what? We don't have an increment or decrement. We are supposed to have an I plus plus or I minus minus, right? We are supposed to give that condition. I plus plus I minus minus. So in this case, we are not giving it. We are just setting the condition. So this condition will always be true because I is zero. It's set to zero. So it will keep running as far as this condition is true. Zero is less than 10. Yeah, zero is less than 10. So it will print the value. Then it will check again. Still, the value of I is zero because it, we have not incremented or decremented. So it will still check. This condition will be true. It will keep um run it to print this again so that's how it will keep running it will keep running because this condition will always be true so we have to comment out the part that is causing it to go into an infinite loop so when you look at this just look at the output when the program is being called here so you see what happened they got infinite loop incoming printed which is this part here right that's this printf here this part we got it printed and the next thing that follows after it is this part here which is what which is this printf here so with this, I know that everything that falls between them is supposed to be commented out. Because as you can see, they, have, they are not displayed in the output. So I know that only this part or anything from this part to this part will not be displayed. So I need to comment out this part. So all I'm going to do here now is come here and then add this. How we document battery, right? So here you add the asterisk. You follow each line. Make sure you add this. If not... Betty will not will not check because I've tried okay I've tried using um, just the, the the block statement here just this and also the closing one here it doesn't work so I had to do this single um, this um, asterisk for each line I have to put I had to put it for each line okay so you have to do that as well so here as well I'll add an asterisk here another asterisk so here sorry you are not supposed to create a new line okay you are not supposed to add a new line because they said your line count will be your line will be counted right where is the task where is it is it this one you, do, you don't add or remove any lines of code as we'll be checking your line count so don't add okay as you can see i've not created any new line here and you are going to see that so this is the part of the code that is causing it to go into an infinite loop so let's try running this let's run betty on it first if betty is fine then i'm sure yeah so no problem 
So what we need to do here now is let me compile it using this command. So paste. Yeah, so it has been compiled. So let's run the compiled file. So as you can see, we got the output, right? Infinite loop incoming, infinite loop avoided. And this is it. Infinite loop incoming, infinite loop avoided. So let's see. Let's count the number of lines. That way I'll be able to know if I've added a new line or not. So as you can see, I'm having 21, 24 main.c. I'm also having 24 main.c. So I have 24 lines of code. Also here in my own code, I have 24 lines of code. Sorry, in their own code, it is 24 lines. And in mine, also there is, it is 24 lines. So it means my code is working fine. Okay, so we are going to stop here in this video. In the next video, we are going to continue from task two of this project on debugging. So thank you very much to meet in our next session.